It's Kappa Gamma Alpha, better known as scalar multiplication. Now, what scalar multiplication is, is multiplying a whole number by a matrix. So, how we do that? We got K outside, you got some letters A, B, C, D, and you might be asking, wondering, what does that got to do with anything? Now, when doing a scalar multiplication, the whole number gets multiplied by each element of the matrix. That just means that the K gets multiplied by the A, the K then gets multiplied by the B, the K is multiplied by the C, and of course the K gets multiplied by the D to formulate our new matrix. So when we multiply K by A, we get KA, K by B, KB, K by C, KC, and K by D, KD. Now, K, A, K, B, K, C, K, D. Now, what does that translate when we have a number? So, the 3 is outside, and that 3 is going to be multiplied by everything that's inside of the bracket, or the matrix. So, you multiply 3 by 2, 3 by 1, 3 by 0, then 3 multiplied by 4. So, when we did that, 3 multiplied by 2, we got 6. 3 multiplied by 1, we got 3. 3 multiplied by 0, is 0, and 3 multiplied by 12, should be f 3 multiplied by 4 should be 4 should be 12 12 so or in other words what we're saying is that to the matrix 2 1 0 4 we're just going to triple everything that's inside of it um so triple 2 you got 6 triple 1 you got 3 triple 4 you got 12 at the bottom, on our next problem here, we got 2 multiplied by minus 2, minus 3, 2, 1, and 4. And we're going to multiply 2 by everything. So we're going to be doubling. We're going to be doubling. So we have 2 times minus 3. That's minus 6. 2 times 1. That is 2. 2 times 2 gives us 4. And 2 times 4 give us eight. Yeah.